you know, those short films are made without ever knowing what's going to happen, whether it's going to be released or not, whether we'll ever see the light of day. So to know you're going to be at a festival as prestigious as the Sydney International Film Festival means everyone on the t- on the set in pre-production and post-production is like really galvanised to kind of make this project at the best of their ability. So I don't know if extra pressure, maybe extra incentive might be a good way of putting it. Uh, it was like the triple prize, wasn't it? Because, I mean, even just last year when we found out that we were the fellows, it was like a prize in itself. We got to stand on stage with Judy Davis and it was incredible. And then knowing that you also then had 50000 to go up and make a film was just the most incredible thing. But then also that the success is built in because you know that you're going to be screening at... at one of the most prestigious film festivals in the world at the State Theatre and it's just it's like the most amazing triple prize that you could have. Oh the applications were terrific myself and my fellow jury members had a fantastic time reading the submissions and I can't wait to be here in exactly this spot in a year's time and actually see the four films. Mm. City Film Festival has a great pleasure to work with Lexus on the Lexus Australia Short Film Fellowship. This exciting new project is the largest cash fellowship for short film in Australia, providing a new platform to support emerging filmmakers to tell their stories. Along with the jury of Vin Naidu, our president, David Wenham, Kat Shelper, and Sandra Levy Ao, I was very fortunate enough to read through these inspiring submissions. On behalf of Lexus Australia, the Sydney Film Festival, and the jury, I would like to thank all the many filmmakers who submitted their entries. The standard was high and reflected an enormous amount of work and creativity. And of course, thanks to all the members of the jury for their dedication in going through all this work. For now, I would like to welcome to the stage the jury president, David Wenham, who will announce the four talented winners who will receive $50,000 each to produce the next short film to premiere at the Sydney Film Festival in 2018. By way of background to the, um, to the fellowship, the submissions were taken last year. There was a shortlist decided this March, and then 20 submissions were sent to the jury, to Nishan, to Ben, to Sandra, to Kat and myself. And then we read the submissions and they were extensive. They contained not only the script, um, uh, a director's vision statement, mood boards, examples of their previous work. And so each of us read and watched the films, and then we convened about two or three weeks ago, I think, and over extensive discussion, we discussed each individual applicant and their project, and through, and it was obvious, self-evident, that an incredible amount of work, thought, imagination, and work had gone into these submissions, and through that extensive discussion, four applicants rose to the top of that list, and those four applicants showed a clear vision for their project, an individual passion for their project, and an obvious capability that they will be able to successfully achieve their objective. And the winners, and they are in fact the winners of the 2017 Australian Short Film. Here we go, they do. Here we go, the first one is Emily Avila. The next winner is Lara Cox. And the final winner is Thomas Barachevich. Ladies and gentlemen, a collective congratulations to the four winners.